today's stick mobility stretch and roll session is perfect for recovery days, anytime you're feeling a little chunky and you want to get some movement in, but you want to keep it gentle. You will need a full stick mobility bundle for this workout. Uh, that's two long sticks and a shorter stick. I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get yours along with a discount code to save you some money. And you'll also want an anchor point. I'll be using the wall. I'll be guiding you through this entire workout, and we are going to give some special attention to neck, shoulders, spine, and hips, all the areas that often get a little cranky when we're tired or haven't been moving or are just really sore. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, and be sure to come back to this stick mobility playlist for more. Grab your two long sticks. And feet are about hip width apart. You're going to have those sticks about 8 to 10 inches in front of them. Arms are reaching out. You can have them bent in that nice 90 degree angle if this feels more stable to you. Otherwise, you can reach them out in that normal sort of position that your arm makes, that nice little arc. So bottom ends are closer into your body. I'm going to go this direction to start so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just starting with a little ankle warm-up. I want you to push those toes down into the ground. This should not be painful, but it should feel like a nice stretch on your ankles. Go for 10 on each side. Four. Five. You don't need to push down too hard. It should just be like a nice little ankle opener. Let's go for two more on each side. And now you're going to lift that heel off the ground. Push those, the balls of your feet down into the ground. And you can really bend that knee. So pushing those sticks down into the ground. Again, we're going for about 10. And this should feel nice as you open up those ankles. Four more on each side. Two. One more. And just a nice little circle in each direction. Still going for ten. Nice round number. Usually by the end of ten, I notice there is some loosening. I feel less tension in my joints. That's why I like that number. And it's easy to remember and count two. Going for two more on each side. And then we're going to go in circles the other direction. And other way. This one might be a little more awkward for some people, and that's totally fine. This is not a movement we usually do in daily life. It doesn't mean we shouldn't include it. It does help open up the hips as well. Two more on each side. And I'm going to turn so you can see me a little better, but the positioning is the same. <clears throat> Sticks are right in front of either of these feet. Try and bring those bottom ends a little closer to your feet. You have your feet nice at hip width distance. And you're standing up nice and tall, and you're just going to open up, kind of like you're skiing. But I want you to look at that stick that is behind you, and allow for that rotation in your spine. You might get a little in your hips, too. You may find that you have some pops or clicks. As long as there's no pain, that is totally okay. It's nice to get a little adjustment sometimes. That's four. Still going for ten. On each side. Nice little twist here. You can push those sticks down into the ground. You don't have to be pushing hard, maybe 20%. Just enough to keep their place on the floor. And for some people, you might find that you don't want to use a mat because they get a little slippery. On my floor, it actually makes it easier for me. We've got one more on each side. And coming back to center. 
You'll notice they still do have a tendency to walk the sticks. Doesn't really matter what you do, but that's fine. You just readjust whenever you need to. Bringing those sticks back <clears throat> to that same position in front of either foot. And now you can bring your feet in just a little bit and you're gonna bend forward, nice soft bend in your knees. And I want you to straighten one leg and then switch and allow yourself to pull a little bit further with that bent leg. So you're pushing that arm out further in front of you. Three. Four, this should just feel really good. You can really relax into it. Five. Six. Seven, nice opening in the sh shoulders. You feel it in the hips, the glutes. Eight, nine, and ten. Push those sticks down to roll yourself up. Whew. Shake it out. <clears throat> We're going to put one of these sticks aside for a minute. Holding on to that other stick, I'm going to go facing forward so you can see what I'm doing. And Feet are still about hip width apart. I'm going to reach down so that stick is right at about 12 o'clock. I'm going at a three quarter angle. Hopefully, you can see better this way. One arm is reaching up high, the other arm is reaching down towards the bottom. And I have a nice soft bend in my knees. I'm going to let my hand slide down a little bit more until the stick can touch my hip, whatever that is for you. And I'm going to push down. This bottom hand is really pushing the stick down into the ground. I'm keeping that soft bend in my knees. And this top hand is going to go from where it's, the stick is touching my hip to up overhead. If you don't have this range, that's okay. You just go to wherever it feels good and comfortable to reach to. Open up. Three, still going for ten. Four. As you pull forward to overhead, you'll really feel it through the lateral line of your body. Five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh yeah. Nine. And ten. Coming back down, push that stick down into the ground to help you lift yourself up. Oh, kind of feel a little melty, but we got to do the other side. So I'm bringing that stick back to that 12 o'clock position. If I am the clock, whichever direction you're facing, wherever you're looking is 12 o'clock. So opposite hand reaches high. I have a nice soft bend in my knees. I'm going to let my hand come all the way down. And now I'm going to slide that top hand down just enough so that I can get that stick touching my hip. And I'm going to open up. One. Two. You might notice one side. This is much easier than the other. That's totally normal. One side will probably feel better in this stretch. But that's why we do both sides, just to keep working on it. Five more. Eight. Nine. Oh, it feels so good. And ten. Push that stick down to lift yourself back up. Ooh. <laughs> Now that we feel a little bit melty, we get to come down to the ground. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this stick down here to make it a little easier for me. But I'm going to switch to the shorter stick because of the space in my apartment. You might not need to switch, and that's totally fine. So coming down onto the ground, legs are out in front of you, extended. And think about rowing. So you just have the stick in your hands 
And it's here to give you a little more awareness of where your body's moving and how it's moving. So I'm gonna push forward all the way to the ends of my feet, reaching up high, and even pull myself back a little bit. Here we go for 10. So that's two, three, four, make sure to breathe, five, six, seven, eight. You can pull your body back to where your legs are lifting off the ground as long as you still have control. Nine, ten. Now I'm going to go the other direction. So you're pulling up above all the way around. One, two, three. Just really getting into this kind of flow motion. Five, six, allowing everything to stretch as you reach up. Eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna reach all the way forward. Put that stick underneath my feet if you can reach it, that's great. If you need to bend your knees just a little bit, <clears throat> So you can get that stick underneath your feet. That is totally fine. This is a great position too. And as you're here, you want that stick kind of on the balls of your feet, maybe even into the middle, wherever it feels comfortable for you. If having your arms on the outside of your feet is too difficult, you can bring them inside. Whatever makes it easier for you to get into this position, when you do it on the inside here, you can really feel how your back stretches and opens up. So we're just going to do this a couple times. Round that back. Just really relax. And then pull that stick into your feet. Feet are pressing into the stick. So you'll feel your hips open up too. And straighten out that back. And then relax. Pull and open. Two. Let's go for five. Relax. Pull and open. Three. Relax. Pull, straighten out that back. Shoulders are packed down. One more, just like that. And relax. So again, you can do that with your legs bent. You can also do that <clears throat> with your legs extended. You may not get quite as much of a straightening of the back here, but you will really feel that in your hips and all the way down your legs as you go this way. Keep breathing. You're going to relax. Set that stick down for just a second. We're going to have this up against one foot. So you can have one foot planted on the floor if you like. I'm going to reach up, grab that stick. One foot is planted. The other foot, I'm going to extend up into the air and let myself fall down. However it works for you to get into this position, if it's first you lay down, and then you get that stick up against your, the bottom of your foot and then extend. That is fine. And then you can gently lower that other leg down. If that is not comfortable, keep that foot flat on the floor. And all you're doing is thinking about keeping this leg straight. You're not really pulling too hard with the stick. It's already doing enough. And you can bend and straighten so you don't have to stay in this deep stretch right this is a pretty intense hamstring stretch so you don't need to stay there at all bend and straighten <sighs> always breathing let's go for three more bend and straighten bend and straighten last one on the side <sighs> 
Oh, you can release that foot. Bring that foot flat on the floor. Oh, you can feel that all the way through that. Hamstring down into the glute. So we're gonna do the other side, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna hold that stick, bring my knee in. If I need to lift up, that's totally fine. Try and straighten out that leg. Whew, this side might be tighter, I think. And bend and straighten. <sighs> Breathe. Nice big exhale here. Helps you stay in the stretch for an extra couple seconds. Bend and straighten. Two more, just like that. Last one on this side. Oh, bring that leg down, bend it, and then gently bring it out from the stick. I'm gonna set this stick down. You may still use the shorter stick. It's really your preference. Again, what works in your space. I'm gonna grab this longer stick <clears throat> and we're gonna go into a straddle. So still on the ground. I'm gonna face this direction so you can see me. And you're bringing that stick up against, again, the bottoms of your feet. So it doesn't need to be too high. It doesn't need to be like your toes are barely holding on. You can bring it down towards that instep of your foot. And you're just going to whatever straddle you feel comfortable in. We're going to be here for a couple minutes, so I want you to stay comfortable and allow yourself to relax into it. So if you need to start with a smaller straddle, that's totally fine. And as you keep going, it'll open up. So thinking about <clears throat> letting those sits bones touch down on the ground. <sighs> keeping your back up nice and tall, and you're just gonna pull that stick in. Feet are pressing away. You don't have to flex your feet, but you can, if that feels good for you. I'm just trying to relax my feet as much as possible, keeping those elbows tight into my body, and I'm pulling in probably 30, 40%. And then I'm gonna relax. I'm just gonna give that stick a little turn, so that I'm bending it in slightly a different place every time. And again, pulling in. Elbows stay tight to your body. You have a nice string pulling your head straight out of the ground. <sighs> Maybe 50% now. And relax. Twist that stick. <clears throat> Keeping that spine nice and tall. Pulling in. Ooh, maybe your legs go a little bit further. I'm pulling now probably 60%. Still not as much as I possibly can, but I feel my core engage. Grip is working. Here we go, we're gonna turn again, relax, and pull. Pulling in towards your body. You should be able to see a nice little bend in the stick. Going. 60, 70% now. One more, relax. Turn that stick. Inhale on that exhale. Pull, maybe 70%. Pushing your feet so that those heels touch down into the ground. For another three, two, one, and relax. Whew. <clears throat> you might feel that inside. The groin, that inner line of the leg, as long as it doesn't hurt, isn't crazy painful, that's what we're looking for. We want to stretch. This may be a little bit intense, but it should be a good stretch and nothing painful. So now you're going to bring your hands under hand grip. Feet are in exactly the same place. I'm going to start with my left hand. It's going to hold onto that stick in that under hand grip. And I'm actually going to let it come all the way down, however feels comfortable for me, right? So I'm, I have that stick with an underhand grip. My free hand, my right hand, 
is going to reach over. Again, if you don't get all the way to the foot, that's totally fine. You're still pulling in gently, maybe 20, 30%. It doesn't have to be a lot with the stick right now. But you're reaching that free hand over the same side, leg, foot, knee, ankle, whatever it is that you can reach. You're just going to reach. And we're going for about three breaths here. So try and relax into it as much as you can. And now you're going to reach across your body. If I can, I'm going to get down. So I can hold the stick. You may still be here. <clears throat> if you can get your forearm down on the ground, that's great. If not, that's okay. However you can do this that feels comfortable, I'm going to reach that other arm over to the other side, foot. Oh my goodness. And breathe. Two more breaths. And then rock yourself back over, same side foot. This time try flexing that foot. See how far you can reach. <clears throat> and breathe. Two. And three. Going over to the opposite side. You will feel a great big twist. Nice hip opener here. You're still pulling on that stick gently. It doesn't have to be a lot. <clears throat> if you need to move your hand over to give yourself enough room to reach, that's totally fine. You're just noticing how much work it is. Flex that foot. And breathe. One more nice big breath. Last time on this side, you're going to reach over to that same side foot. You can relax the foot. It does not have to be flexed now. Just try and reach. When I'm here, I can do it this way. <clears throat> Still pulling in on that stick. Breathing. Notice how much more I've fallen forward already into a, almost a pancake. We'll go for one more breath here. And then switching sides. Reach for that opposite ankle. Try and relax those legs. I know they want to tense up as you try and reach as far as you possibly can. <laughs> and let go. Come back to center. <clears throat> Both hands are in the center. You're going to try and bring those forearms down onto the ground. However it works for you. If I can get my forearms on the other side of a stick, I can pull myself down a little bit more. Maybe it's just hands. Whatever works for you today. And every day is different, so just allow it. Come back on a different day, try this again, and suddenly you'll be like, whoa, I'm almost touching the floor. <sighs> nice big stretch. <clears throat> if you can't get your forearms down, go ahead. You can also have one hand down, one forearm down, and then you just kind of sway side to side. Oh my goodness, this is a lot, I know. And then I'm going to switch. So this forearm is down, pushing that stick into my foot. Other hand is flat on the floor. And again, just gently rocking side to side. And then come back up. I have to switch hands, right? So underhand grip 
with the other hand. I started on my left, so now my right hand will be holding on to the stick. Left hand, and you may want a gable grip, where you kind of like a monkey grip, where you don't use that thumb. Sometimes I find the thumb will actually get in my way. So I'm going to have that nice gable grip reaching over that same side leg. Oh, you don't have to be flexing your foot yet. We're going to have nice three breaths here. Still pulling that stick in towards your body. One more breath. And then reaching across your body to that opposite foot. Breathe. Pull that stick in gently. Over to the other side. Reaching. Pull. Flex that foot. Try and reach for the bottom of your foot if you can. Maybe you reach the inner side of your ankle, the outside of your ankle, whatever you get to. One more breath. And reaching across to the opposite foot. One. Two. Three. Going back last time. Reaching for that same side foot. Try to relax those legs. I know they want to tense up. And reach across. Ooh. Two more breaths. Bringing those hands down onto the ground. You can let that stick fall down for just a moment. <clears throat> and just kind of reach your arms forward wherever they go. Just fold over. Take a couple deep breaths here. Same thing, three breaths. If you can, go ahead and you can try and put your hands down, make a pillow for your head. Try and make this as comfortable and relaxed as possible. I know it might not be, but the more we actually take time in these kinds of stretches and allow ourselves more than just 30 seconds, we'll actually get much deeper into those stretches and all of a sudden our range just opens up. One more breath. Just trying to acknowledge where I've gotten to today. And I'm gonna walk my hands back towards my body, past that stick, roll that stick forward, just to get out of your way. You can reach underneath your knee pits, and very, very gently give your legs a little assist. Oh to bring them together. Shake that out. That was a lot. Beautiful job though. Still down on the ground. I want you to grab that other stick. Take a moment here. Crisscross applesauce. Oh, it just feels so good. So you're gonna find that crisscross applesauce. Just take a second. Ah, feel my butt. 
I'm gonna reach over and grab a leg and hug it. You can think about bringing that elbow pit up against your knee or your thigh. And you're just rocking. That foot is in the other elbow pit. And then I'm gonna gently bring that one down. Switch sides. Other leg. Oh! Nice, good glute stretch. This actually feels really great after having those legs extended for so long. It actually makes it kind of really nice. So we're gonna grab that other long stick and we're gonna stay on the ground. I just want one to be in front of your body, one to be behind you. And now we're gonna use that wall as an anchor point. So, oh, got a little kitty cameo going. You're gonna push those sticks into the wall. Don't worry about that one behind you just yet. I'm gonna come forward a little bit so I have enough space. And you're gonna be laying on your side so that bottom leg is just down on the ground. Doesn't really have to do anything. I'm gonna lay my shoulder down on the ground. I have my elbow down. And that's just how much of my arm is actually holding the stick. So you want it to be in a comfortable position where you have that arm in line with your elbow. That top leg, you're on your side, that top leg, your foot is going to be resting on top of the stick. Your knee is going to be underneath the stick. So you get a nice little sideline stretch. That's what we're doing here. You're gonna reach behind you, grab that stick that's behind your body, find that anchor point. I know, it can get a little wiggly. So you're pushing both sticks down into the ground, that front stick, the one in front of your body, you're still only using it from your elbow to your wrist. That back arm is reaching up high. Again, you want to have a nice straight line from your shoulder all the way to your wrist. Pull those shoulders down. Make sure you can really push your foot up against the stick. So it's in between, the stick is in between your knee and your foot. And you're pushing everything into the ground or into the wall, I should say. And you're going to open whew, that back stick. Look back behind you. Feel that nice, beautiful stretch. Inhale, bring that stick back up to center. Exhale, open out, look towards that back stick. Everything is still pushing into the ground. We're gonna go for one more here. Push that stick into the anchor point. Exhale, open up, look behind you at that stick and bringing it back up to center. You're going to unravel that leg. Come onto your back. Feet are flat on the floor. Both hands are in line with your shoulders. You're pushing those sticks down into the ground. You're just relaxed on your back and I'm going to have you lift your legs up and we're going to go into an assisted plow. So you're pushing those sticks down into the anchor point, probably 30, 40%. You're going to lift your legs up and keep pushing as you try and get your body over. You're going to lift those hips up, still pressing those sticks into the anchor point, And it gives you a little more leverage to get that hip up into the air so you can potentially touch your feet down. If you don't get to touching them down just yet, that's fine. You're still pushing those sticks down into the anchor point as you slowly and with control lower your body down. We have two more plows just like that. So you're pushing those sticks down into the anchor point. Lift those legs up, feel that core working. Up, hips go up, 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 up. Keep pushing the sticks into the anchor point to help give you that leverage to get all the way into the plow. 
If you can, you can flex those feet. Find even more, just a little tiny bit. And you're still pushing those sticks into the ground as you slowly lower with control all the way back down. Take a breath. One more here. Push the sticks into the ground, maybe 40, 50%. Lifting those hips up until you find that plow. Even if you don't get into the plow the way mine looks, that is okay. You're doing great work and your body will thank you for this. You should feel a beautiful stretch all through the hips, into the spine, and slowly lowering down, pushing those sticks into the anchor point. Whew. That got me sweating. So take a breath. We still have to do the sideline stretch on the other side. So I'm going to turn and face the wall. That bottom leg still doesn't do anything. That top leg, my foot goes on top of the stick. My knee goes underneath the stick. I'm holding that stick so that my wrist is in line with my elbow, which is out in line from my shoulder. That back arm, I'm going to raise it up. Push that stick down into the ground or into the anchor point, pardon me. And I'm going to open up and look at that back arm. Oh, this is such a good stretch. It feels so good. Still pressing those sticks into the anchor point. See if you can get a little deeper in that stretch. Open it up. Inhale, bring that stick back to center. And exhale. Open up, look behind you. Oh yeah. Just using that front stick that your leg is sort of pretzeled around as a way to help twist a little deeper. We got one more here. Bring that stick right up into the center, pushing down into the anchor point and twist to open. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Coming back to center. You're going to unpretzel that top leg. Let yourself come back to laying on your back. <sighs> Press those sticks into the anchor point. Make sure you give yourself enough space if you need to. <sighs> if you want, you can keep doing the plow. We're going to do three more. Or you can try this plow that I am doing right now, which is a straddle plow. So you can go right back to that same plow we were doing just a moment ago. Or you can add on by trying to open your legs up as you get beyond the sticks. So pushing those sticks down into the ground. Everything is the same. You lift up, you push. And now as I get my hips up, I'm just going to try and open my legs. So my feet are wide and I'm in that straddle. Still pushing those sticks into the ground slowly and with control. I bring my legs back together as I return. So now you've seen the straddle plow. You can keep doing two more with me or go back to the original plow that we were doing before. And shoulders pack down, push those sticks into the ground maybe 40, 50%. Lift the legs and lift those hips and open into a straddle. Try and touch those feet down. If they don't touch, that's totally fine. With practice, they will though. And pushing those sticks slowly and with control. Return down. Whew. One more, just like that. Push those sticks down into the anchor point. Lift those legs up. Lift that hip up. Yes! Open into that straddle. Plow. Breathe. 
the more you push those sticks into the anchor point, the more leverage you have to lift those hips even higher. And slowly and with control, bring those legs back down. Whew. Take a breath. You can drop those sticks down. I'm going to bring them just up against the wall for a minute. I'm going to grab my shorter stick. You can do this standing or seated. I like to stay seated now that we're down to the end. So I'm going to go back into crisscross applesauce if you feel better on your knees or with those legs extended. However it works best for you, you're going to bring that stick resting right on your neck. I'm just going to move my hair out of my way. You can relax your arms, kind of like a scarecrow. However it feels comfortable to you, but you're kind of almost thumb rolling your neck with the stick. And I love it because it works really well. Maybe you need to get one side elevated. I, I like to push my shoulder through a little bit and I can just kind of dig in, but find where it is for you. So if you need to get a hold of that stick a little bit better, that's totally fine. Just take a couple nice deep breaths. Feel where it feels good to press that stick into your neck, pushing your neck into the stick. Just kind of rolling it around. Maybe it's not about moving the stick, it's more about moving your neck. It's really all about what it is for you because everyone is different and everybody's body needs different things. Bringing it back to center. And you're just gonna, kind of like an airplane, dive down, try and touch that stick down to one side, and then the other. Oof, nice little lateral line stretch again. Feel this into your obliques, all through the spine. Oh my goodness. Let's go for three more on each side. Nice good twist as you look up to the ceiling or to the sky, you'll notice you get an even more, a little bit of a deeper stretch. Two more. Last one. And coming back to center, bring those hands in, reach up high, bring that stick down. <sighs> Feeling amazing after that. Go ahead and set that stick aside. And just take a moment to feel your body. Maybe do a body scan. Go ahead and stand up if you aren't already. And just breathe. Feel grounded. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this with me. I appreciate it. And I so look forward to having you back again for another stick mobility video.